It is genuinely difficult for me to get into a new video game. I end up always finding all these flaws with them. I end up comparing them to other often much better games, but when you guys recommended this to me, I will admit, I had my doubts. I had my reservations. See, I know you guys have never really let me down in the past, but I did not think that this was necessarily going to top Guardian Tales for me. Now, when Genshin Impact launched, there were literally millions, tens of millions of you that all flocked to that game, and I understand why. But overall, it just wasn't really my type of game, and therefore I never really devoted that much time to it. This game though, this is right up my alley. Now before we go any further into this video, I do want to state no. This is not in any way sponsored. There might be some of you that disagree with this, but please just take a few minutes and actually watch the video before complaining. Now, if you want to stay up to date with everything concerning Punishing Grey Raven, go ahead and subscribe to the MMO Byte mobile YouTube channel. Or if you want to stay up to date with MMO news, scroll down, hit that subscribe button and become part of our community. This game has absolutely incredible graphics. The, the waifus are on an entirely different level. There is an immense amount of narrative. There is just literally so much story to make it through. The combat is probably, and this is not at all an exaggeration, the best action combat I have seen on the entire platform. Now, if I were to compare this game to any PC MMO out there, I would say that this most closely resembles something like Soul Worker Online. But while this does resemble Soul Worker, while it definitely has some similarities to PSO2 and PSO2 New Genesis and Closers Online and Critica, this game makes all of them look vastly inferior. Now I get there isn't a quest hub with 10, 50, 100 different people running around and instead you have that, that menu screen that mobile games typically tend to have that gives you access to your missions, that allows you to navigate on over to each individual hero to upgrade your gear and I don't know, I guess I've never really been a fan of that, but at the same time, for this instance, it kind of works. And when I say that the action combat is by far the best on the platform, I mean, just take a look at not only these special effects you see going on, pretty much in the background of the video right now, the fluidity of the animations, the, the fluidity of the combat itself, but also the complexity of the combat. See, as a comparison here, in Genshin Impact, you have four different characters. Each one of those characters have their own unique play style. Now, each one of those characters also have their own unique elemental affinity, and you can kind of combine various different elements together to create new elements, to create new effects, and in essence, this allows for you to have quite a diverse party with a lot of different varying utility. And much in the same way, Punishing Grey Raven does the exact same thing. Each character has their own unique role to play, their own unique utility to offer to the party. But not just that, while you do have your basic forms of attack, every character has various other attacks that you can click. These are actually located above the little buttons down the bottom right of the screen. Each color corresponds with a different type of attack. And when you chain multiple of them together, level two, level three, the attack increases, the attack does additional effects. Other characters can combo with that and it just provides so many more options than pretty much any other game I've ever seen, on mobile devices especially. Now, at the same time, I know what you guys are thinking, but but Sticks, at the end of the day, this is a mobile game. Like, it's just gonna be some autoplay garbage, right? And that is where you're wrong. I have been playing this for approximately five days now. I've been pouring in about anywhere between an hour and a half to three hours per day, and there has not been a single moment of autoplay. There's zero auto in it whatsoever. You are forced to manually move your character. You are forced to manually run every level. You are forced to manually use your abilities, manually attack. There is no auto pathing through anything. There is no auto playing anything. And that, in my opinion, while there are a few other games out there that don't really offer autoplay, like uh, Guardian Tales, like Genshin Impact, games like this, games that really don't offer any autoplay, are definitely innovating in a way that other mobile games should be. And uh, seriously, when you look as good as this game looks, man, I'm, I am baffled. I did not expect 
to see a game like Punishing Grey Raven. I had no idea a game like this was being developed. I knew Punishing Grey Raven was a thing. I've covered this on the MMO by Mobile channel in the past, but never ever did I expect to be genuinely impressed with the game. Never did I expect to upload a video to the main MMO by YouTube channel where I said, this game right here is better than the majority of MMOs out there. This game right here is of a level of quality above a lot of normal RPGs for console. If this game were developed for consoles for other platforms like the PC, this game would be absolutely mind-blowing. And the fact that this is actually developed for mobile devices has me seriously really impressed. Japan, you guys make some incredible games. I am 100% serious. Not only do you make some of my favorite RPG games, me being a huge JRPG fan, and of course I'm, I'm still waiting for you guys to remake or remaster The Legend of Dragoon, but the Japanese mobile market is moving in a way that the South Korean and the Chinese mobile market just does not seem to be able to keep up with. At least, you know, that that's that's my opinion. Other people might not like this type of game necessarily, but there are a lot of people that are genuinely enjoying themselves with Punishing Grey Raven. And it makes sense, there is just so much to do. The game itself is stunning. This is a beautiful game. I am going to continue playing this because I am going to be posting a dedicated video of this over on the MMO Byte mobile channel. But at the same time, I'm going to be doing a much bigger, much deeper, much more in-depth look at the game probably a couple weeks from now once again on the mobile channel for those of you that want to see how the game is doing further down the line as the game did just launch but for those of you that decided to stick around throughout the entire video for those of you that are genuinely interested in trying this game out then i mean what are you waiting for it's available right now Someday soon, i'm gonna make